This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from opentuition.com. So let's go through, finish off the chapter with a quick chat through contingent assets. Nothing to really get too excited about in all honesty, but let's go. Uh, so what you've got is a contingent asset. What is a contingent asset? It's whereby there is uncertainty about the receipt of an asset at some point in the future. So what have we got? Again, the key thing is it comes down to is prudence because it is not prudent to recognize an asset within the account unless it is virtually certain. If it is virtually certain that you're going to receive the cash or be given some inventory, whatever asset it might be, PPE, you know, usually in exam questions, it tends to be cash. Uh, through an insurance claim, but only once it is virtually certain do we recognise an asset. Don't ever say recognise a contingent asset. Once it's virtually certain, it loses its contingency. It's not contingent on anything anymore, and it is an asset. Okay. Uh, however, oh, I to sometimes draw just a little line in there. It's contingent assets, but it's not contingent. Uh, probable. So there's a greater than 50% chance of us receiving it. It's not prudent to recognise an asset unless it's virtually certain. So therefore, you will just disclose it in the notes to the accounts. That's a bit different, isn't it, compared to a provision. With a provision, if it was probable, we would recognise it. However, with contingent assets, if it's probable, we only disclose it. Okay, remember... With your provisions, it was a contingent liability if it was only possible, and that was disclosed, wasn't it? Okay. Uh, if it's remote, if it's only possible, so zero chance of happening or less than 50%, then we just ignore it. Get lost, not, not interested. Okay. Uh, so what have we got? Uh, just look at the illustration just below. Have a read through. Is it anything exciting? Not really, no. Uh, so we've got a reporting date, is it there, of the 31st of December. Somebody's stolen some of our inventory. Thieves, how dare they? £100,000. Uh, that was just prior to the reporting date. Uh, and what we've done is we've made a claim on our insurance. So we have a contingent asset. We're looking to receive the cash back at some point in the future, but that is contingent on other events contingent on whether or not the insurance company will reimburse us. Uh, we have heard from the insurers. They've said that it is probable that the full amount will be reimbursed, uh, but no further confirmation of when any payment will be made has been received. Okay, so it's not virtually certain, is it? Because the insurance company could turn around last minute and say, look, I've actually noticed some evidence that means that you were actually at fault and there wasn't the security in place that you said there would be within your factory. Uh, so therefore, we're not going to pay. So it's still probable. Maybe they've got some further investigation to do, but it's more likely than not they'll pay you the 100000 But it's not virtually certain, is it? No. doesn't say that anywhere within the question. It says probable, 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 probable. Probable. We disclose, don't we? So therefore... The business within the notes, the accounts will have a contingent asset note and they will disclose that they are expecting to receive £100,000 at some point within the next financial year. So if you like, that's the, the quantitative amount in terms of the 100, the qualitative elements, the, the written bit is explaining what it relates to uh, and why it came about. That's it. So we'll explain we expect to receive a £100,000 cash receipt from our insurers in the next financial year to cover the theft of $100,000 worth of inventory that happened just prior to the year end. There you go. That's it. Uh, when the insurance company in the next accounting period then get in touch with you to say, look, uh, we're going to pay you the $100,000 on a set date. Well, it's like, right, that's when you go through and recognize it. Uh, and you would go through there. If it's cash that you're getting paid, uh, you're going to recognise, is it there a receivable? Okay, there we go. Uh, 